Oh, oh, boys and girls. This doesn't look so good. Big Al, are you okay? Well, not really, not really. Big Al, can I, can I take the bag off your head? All right. Yeah, Big Al, and then maybe, do you mind to tell me what's going on? Hmm. Hmm. I, I, I get that. Can I tell the boys and girls? Boys and girls, as Big Al's gotten older, he doesn't so much, you don't like how you look right now. I'm ugly. Well, Big Al, you're not ugly. There's a beauty in every person and in you. Too old. Oh, yeah. Big Al also said he's, he feels like it's getting too old for Mom to love him. Big Al, you know, moms have a special love for kids when they're young. It's true. But your mother will always love you, Big Al. It's just differently. Got a prayer about that. Really? Mm -hmm. It's called... Do I still fit inside your heart? I wonder. I know that's what you wonder, so. Read. I will, I'll read it now, and it, and it goes like this. Do I still fit inside your heart? I asked my mom one day. You see that I am bigger now in oh so many ways. I am. Yeah, it's kind of what you wondered, if you still fit in there, right? Listen to what mom says. There's always room for you, Mom said, however big you'll be. You'll always be my precious child. You mean so much to me. And Big Al, then we turn this to God, right? It goes, I'm glad that you're like that, oh God. Your heart's so big and free. And even when I'm all grown up, you will still have room for me. <laughs> Yeah, Big Al. Yeah, sometimes we worry. Your mom will always love you, Big Al. And God, you're right? And God will always love you. And each of our boys and girls, no matter how little, no matter how old, always, always indeed.